Yeah, that's exactly right. The president of the college told us that two reports showed that the building here just wasn't safe in the event that there could be an earthquake. It's going to be shutting down tomorrow morning. And tonight we've seen staff get their belongings out of Davies Hall. With only hours left until Davies Hall on the campus of American River College permanently closed, Thursday night became an unexpected moving day. The health and safety of our of our employees, of our faculty, our staff, and our students is so important to us. And we, given the information that we had, we had to make this difficult decision. The Division of State Architects notified the college that Davies Hall could be at risk of catastrophic damage in an earthquake due to its construction. We had to make the very difficult decision to shut down the, the building as quickly as we could. New ARC president Lisa Cardoza says after receiving word from the DSA, the college brought in structural engineers to take a second look. They determined the lift slab construction popular in the 60s and 70s did put the building at risk. And if it's dangerous, I don't think I'd want anyone else in there, yeah. I'm not sure what's going to happen with everyone in it. I know they have to displace everybody, but that's all I know right now. More than 80 offices will need to be moved and the college will need to find new classrooms elsewhere on campus for some 200 courses. Cardoza says about 6,000 students will be impacted and will temporarily go to virtual learning. The campus community really has stepped it up and, you know, we're converting some of our conference spaces into meeting rooms. We are converting um, some of our um, community rooms into classrooms. It's things like that. And, and so I've been really proud to see the, the entire campus come together. And to clarify that virtual learning is only for courses that were initially scheduled to be here in Davies. The president told us that she hopes that only lasts for two weeks at American River College. Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Leanne, thank you so much.